The Butler William Ganong Cemetery is perhaps one of the most written about cemeteries in the state of Michigan. The most common claim is the sighting of a literally traffic stopping blonde beauty in white, who appears in the road, causing cars to swerve to avoid hitting her. The historic graveyard was thrust into notoriety in 1980, when a well-known psychic, the late Marianne Kuklo, paid the cemetery a visit. With me is a very interesting lady by the name of Gundela. Gundela is a practitioner of the age-old art of witchcraft, and she also is an expert in all matters that have to do with the occult. Thank you for being with us today, Gundela. How did someone how does someone get involved in, in the occult or in witchcraft? Well, the way I got involved in witchcraft, I think, was quite natural. I simply happened to have been born into a family where it was practiced. My mother was a witch, my grandmother, my great-grandmother. They tell me they can trace it back in my family to the Green Witches of Scotland centuries ago. Now, I didn't inherit any special power. I, I don't have any power you don't also have. but. If you're brought up in a family where everybody is, well, say a Lutheran, you're more apt to grow up to be a Lutheran than you are a Methodist or a Catholic or a Baptist. I was raised in a family where everybody was a witch, and when I was old enough to know what I wanted, I decided to become one too. And that's how you become a witch. You join a coven, you take vows, the same as you join any organization. While walking in the cemetery, Kuklo, also known by her Wicca name of Gundela, thought she saw a blonde wig lying on the ground. In fact, it turned out to be a woman's scalp. As she got closer, she also saw a bone sticking up through the dirt, and nearby, pieces of an old coffin neatly stacked in a pile, as well as bits of what may have been a white satin dress. The authorities thought a heavy rain must have washed the casket up, or it was dug up by animals. Not long after Gundela's visit and discovery, a driver was killed when he veered off the road just outside the cemetery, on what is now called the Bad Curve. Paranormal investigators still report hearing screams in the cemetery at night. The cemetery is also said to be the site of ritualistic activity, as said to be reported by the Detroit News in 2000 after a kettle with bones, feathers, and charms was found, as well as pentagrams painted on tombstones. Hey, what is up everybody? Tonight we are here at the Ganong Cemetery in Westland, Michigan. To get in the actual cemetery, it's pretty uh, odd compared to other cemeteries. There's a dirt road that comes right into it. There's a hill right there, as you see. And there's a bunch of graves on this side, too. I can imagine how creepy this place could be at night. And of course, I'm going to come back to this place tonight and do an investigation, so that'll be really cool. But let's check out some of the cemetery. I just came to the top of the hill here, and I have to say, after walking around the cemetery, just giving it a test walk, this is definitely the creepiest place of the cemetery, to me at least. I'm just gonna show you guys, but yeah, the cemetery is very unique. I guess when you're looking down from the top of the hill, it looks a lot creepier. There's this cool tree here. There's some graves here underneath it. From the 1940s. And I don't know where that um, blonde wig was found. I don't think it's specified anywhere online, like exactly where it was. But uh, this is kind of weird. I don't know why there's a garbage can here. Honestly, going over back over to the first half of the cemetery, 
like the flatter half like I showed you guys. There's some pretty cool graves over here and it even extends past the dirt road right here. As you guys can see, completely buried by these bushes. It's so creepy, but there's something so beautiful about it at the same time. Actually, just now as I was filming, a cop pulled in. And I guess once he saw our cameras, he just left. So that was cool. But you there is win. a sign on the cemetery that says closed after dark. It's actually heading towards sunset right now. So I might do a little investigation now and see if I get anything. And there's a few graves here that are basically getting buried by the elements, as you guys can see. All from the early 1920s. Well, actually... Yeah, this one was from 1952. 1917. I don't know what that is, but at a first glance it almost looked like blood. Pretty creepy. That's pretty cool how you could rent out a plot. And I'm sure, you know, Whoever did it, did it early on in their life to make sure they got a good spot. So this is the Kleber family. Mother and father. And I'm not so sure they had kids. Maybe these are the kids. Marshall Ennison, 1844 to 1918. And Clarence Ennison Jr., 1924. And I don't believe this person has passed away yet. Which is weird. I don't I don't see a date. We have some more over here. This might be its own plot too. I'm not really sure. Ganong. You know, Ganong's actually the name of the cemetery, so that might be a family that owned the cemetery. This might be the actual plot of the family that owned the cemetery, so that's super cool. Line A, 1895 to 1931. Mother Isabel A, 1866 to 1937. And we have Father William D, 1862 to 1919. And you can't really see it because it's covered by these, uh, this brush here. But, Ganong Cemetery, family plot. All right guys, so the sun is setting here at Ganong Cemetery. And we're gonna do a little spirit box session and see if we can get any answers. See if there's anything here. You know the drill, so let's get into it. How did that woman die? How did she pass away? I heard something there. Like the yard, maybe. I heard it too. Did your body wash up on the cemetery? That was weird. How old were you? How old were you when you passed away? Is this cemetery evil? It might be, I heard. I heard that too, definitely. Can you give me a number of how many spirits haunt this cemetery? I heard one? Yeah. Is the story about the woman haunting the cemetery and the nearby street true?
Do you like it when people come here and check out the cemetery and investigate? That's something like dark. Yeah. Like a dark male voice. Dude, planes are coming like every two seconds. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap it up here at this cemetery. This place was super cool to explore and come check out and use the spirit box with. I'm sure a lot of those responses actually turned out to be real answers, so I'm super stoked to check out the footage when I'm editing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this exploration. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the Ghost Files if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.